year four welcome to your history lesson uh, today i'm going to share my screen with you okay um now i've got two pictures here of a statue that you can see if you ever go to london i wonder if you could do the following things pause the video and have a think about these two quest questions look closely at the pictures um what can you see then have a think to yourself once you've spotted lots of things. What can you infer? Remember what that word means. It means the same as guess. So what can you guess about the person in this statue? Pause the video and have a go at that now. Well done. Now this person here is obviously an incredibly brave person. It's a woman you might have noticed and behind her are two other women. You can't quite see there's one there and there's one there. And this woman is on what looks like a chariot being pulled by two horses. You'll also no notice that this woman has a spear in her hand. And you might also notice in this picture that it's very close to this big clock tower. I wonder if you know the name of that clock tower. That's right, it's Big Ben. Now, I can see all of those things. I can also see on her head that she's got a crown. So what guesses can I make from this? Well, let's start with the crown. If this woman is wearing a crown, I'm guessing she's a queen. And if she's riding on this chariot, I'm guessing she's traveling somewhere. And the fact that she's holding the spear in her hand makes me think that she's going into war. This woman is a warrior. And these two women behind her I think must be warriors too. Now the fact that she's a woman and she's a warrior makes me think she must be a Celt, although she doesn't look particularly like a Celt. She does look like actually she's from the Victorian era because that's when this statue was made. But I also think she must be incredibly brave because look, she's traveling on this chariot with two wild horses and she's not even holding onto the reins. She is an incredibly brave woman. I'm intrigued now and I want to find out much more about this Celtic warrior. I wonder if you can remember what she's called. That's right, it's Boudicca. And today we're going to be finding out about, about, about Boudicca and her rebellion against the Romans. So I'd like you to pause this video now and write today's date and the learning objective. Well done. OK, now let's just find out a little bit more. Now remember this week or last week we've been um, writing uh, a leaflet to say why the Romans should invade Celtic Britain. Um, well, they never wrote a leaflet in real life. They just invaded. So let's find out a little bit about that invasion and how the Celts found out, um, felt about it. So in AD 43, 43 years after Christ was born, the full might of the Roman army landed on the beaches in Kent. Over the next year, it battled inland, storming through the hill forts and chomping down um, anyone who stood in their way. The Romans wanted Britain's precious metals. However, they weren't just a destructive force. They did build new forts, new settlements and roads. They spread their culture, their language and laws. And you'll probably find actually there's lots of words that we do get from the Romans. And there's lots in our culture that still comes from the Romans and, and still our laws as well. And, you know, we actually have a road really close to school, which is actually a Roman road. So they did give us lots of things. However, not everybody liked them. Why don't you pause this video now and go onto the BBC website. I've put this address on our schedule this week so you can watch this film by clicking on it. This tells us all about the Roman invasion. Why don't you watch that video now? Brilliant. OK, now you've watched that video, you found out a little bit more about the Roman invasion. Um, and by AD 305, the Romans had acquired all of this land. They had a really mighty empire. Now, during that time, the Celts weren't always very happy about this. Let's find out more about Boudicca and what she thought. When the Romans invaded, the Celtic tribes had to decide whether or not to fight back. If they made peace, they agreed to obey Roman laws and to pay taxes. In return, they could keep their kingdoms, however some Celtic leaders chose to fight. 
After many years of heavy taxes and the Romans taking their land, some Celtic tribes were desperate for revenge. In AD 60, one leader who chose to fight was Queen Boudicca of the Iceni tribe. Boudicca was the wife of Prastutus, no, Prastutagus, that's a difficult word to say, the ruler of a Celtic tribe called the Iceni. They lived in the region of Britain that is now called East Anglia. When the Romans settled in the south of England in 43 AD, they made an agreement so that he would be able to continue as ruler of the Iceni tribe. When Prasultagus died, the Romans turned on the Iceni. They stole from the Iceni tribes people and made slaves of them. They had Boudicca and her daughters whipped. In about AD 60, um, the Roman governor was sent to North Wales to lead an army. While he was away, Boudicca led an attack against the tribe's Roman rulers with several other tribes people. Her army was called the Britons. They managed to destroy um, Colchester and the capital of Roman Britain and defeated Roman, uh, nine, the Roman Ninth Legion. Now, what I'd like you to do now, let's find out exactly what happened um, by clicking on this film here on the BBC Bite Size and watching what happened to Boudicca in the end. Well done. Now, hopefully you found out um, what happened to Boudicca and how brave she was, but sadly she didn't make it a particularly happy end. Now, what I would like you to do for your task today is I would like you to read through these statements, these little parts of the story, and I'd like you to put them in the correct chronological order. And then, once you've done that, you could do like a, a little storyboard. You could draw pictures to go with each of the scenes. Maybe you could do it like a cartoon. Maybe you could set your work out in little squares and write and draw the pictures right next to it. This worksheet is on Dojo, so you can just cut and stick it. You don't have to write it out, but you do obviously need to draw your own pictures. You could do that on a computer if you wanted to. OK, pause the video now and put these events in the correct chronological order. Well done. OK, let's go through the answers. Let's find the first one. Now, looking through them all, this one is the first one. Boudicca and her husband ruled the Iceni tribe. When the Romans invaded, they were allowed to keep their land. So we're going to put that at the front there because that's number one. Now, let's see what happens next. This one comes next. Boudicca's husband dies and he leaves half of his land to the Romans and half to Boudicca. Which one comes next? This one comes next. The Romans demand all of the Iceni land but Boudicca refuses. As a consequence, the Romans beat her and her daughters. Which one comes next? This one comes next. Boudicca was determined to fight back, so she raised an army and marched to Colchester, burning it to the ground. Which one comes next? This one comes next. Boudicca's army outnumbered the Romans by 20 to 1, but the Roman soldiers were highly trained. Boudicca and the Britons were defeated. And finally, this one. Around 80,000 Britons were killed. Rome controlled most of Britain for the next 350 years. Now we've got these in the correct order. Your job is now to draw pictures to illustrate what's going on in each scene. I look forward to seeing your work later on.